G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live in Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. I'm doing a series on foreign fly management and control and this is part four. It's about a week after I cleaned out the hive and repositioned it and it's very late afternoon and the flies are out. So in the management series previously, you've seen me clean out the hive and then position it inside for a couple of days to allow the bees to manage the hive. Well, it's been out and what I now do is, during their high activity of foreign flies, I have this little setup. And what it is is a little sleeve. I can take that off and allow the bees to do what buzzy bees like to do. However, I can also put this back because it has a wire termi mesh screen. And so about four o'clock in the afternoon, I monitor it. And when all the bees return, I put the screen on. Now, why do I do that? Well, I'm hopeful to catch all these forage flies around the hive now trying to get in. But at the moment, every time I film, I'm missing them. There's at least half a dozen around this hive. And this is what you're doing now. I'm getting activity in the hive. The hive has recovered to a degree, but the flies still want to infect. How do you know you've got success in your hive at the moment? Well, at the moment for the last two days, all the garbage bees have been going in and out cleaning out the hive. When you see garbage bees cleaning out a hive, you then know that your hive is building up in strength. Even better, when you see them removing little brown blobs, it shows new broods hatching. And if you remember in the last episode, I put extra brood in. So the numbers are building. I've got guard bees in place. Not enough yet to stop the flies coming in, but enough to, what's the term? Give me encouragement that I, all I have to do is early morning and late afternoon, stop the flies getting in that are buzzing around. So at the moment, you can't see it as much here but the flies are everywhere. But they know they can't get in. This is the problem. So they're not running around here because they just don't know they can't get in. Instead, they're all flying around. But why are they flying around? Look around here. And that's my foreign fly trap. That is a PET bottle and Hopefully, we'll catch... There's a fly bloody fart-arsing about. Anyway, that's a foreign fly trap. It's trapping flies at the moment. And that's just a soft drink bottle. I hope you can see them. They're actually falling in there and getting caught. They're running around that bottle and getting caught. So by cutting off the entrance and now setting up this trap... And, and all the trap is, is that's a... PET soft drink bottle, plastic soft drink bottle. I drilled some small holes in two layers around it and filled it with nothing more than the dregs of my beer. So it's got beer in it at the bottom of it that's been there for about three days. It's starting to go lactic and that's attracted the flies like a magnet. That's why they, they come to the hive originally but they're attracted to this and are being killed. So by closing off the entrance, oh, there's another fly, yep. You can start to see them now. They are around. Pull back a bit and you can probably see better. So they are around, but the trap is working. And with a bit of luck, you might even see the pairing of flies. There's one around now and the, this pairing. I'll just keep it still and hope that this pairing fly, it's, in fact, with a bit of luck, you've got to see what happens. 
The male and female mate, the male guides them to the appropriate nesting area and then they separate. And all these little buggers running around the hive are females wanting to get in. You can see one there. Look at it darting around. Note the behaviour. That darting behaviour is classic of foreign flies. But they can't get in because they're mainly active early morning, late afternoon. So early morning, this stays on. This stays on till about 8.30 when most of the activity is gone. And then about 4 o'clock in the afternoon before they really get going, it goes on again. There's still four flies in here, but not too many to worry about. The bees can deal with it. This trap, as you can see here, working like a treat. They can't get in the hive, and so what are they doing? Running around that, they'll eventually walk in the holes, fall in and drown. So that's your management after a week. Keep it under control. And that's what I'm doing.